So Life Logging is, is, is the current uh, exhibit that's on in the Science Gallery and it's really all about kind of how we go about kind of measuring and quantifying ourselves and the new ways and the kind of futuristic ways people can do that. So you know yourself, everybody today, they're constantly interested in measuring how far they run, how much they weigh, whether they did something better or worse than anyone else. We use apps on our phone, we use sensors and we use all sorts of things. And it's kind of looking at that world, that's what the exhibit's about. The spider dress is, is a beautiful creation in itself and it's something just amazing to look at and I think from that perspective you're kind of drawn in and you want to, you want to find out more about it. So it, I think it's, it's fantastic in that way but it's also really intriguing in the technology that's in it. So there is an amazing 3D process that has allowed it to this very intricate design to be printed um, and you can see when you see the model how beautifully it fits uh, and the shape that it takes on. So the technology and actually printing it in itself is amazing. What's really cool about um, Anouk as an individual and the, the, the work that she and, and other people in art side of the planet are now doing is that they're stepping closer to and, and we in technology space are stepping closer to them. It's, we're getting away from just science, technology, engineering and maths which has been an obsessive, healthy obsessive focus but not good enough because we need to draw in the art the, art, the artistic, the imagination, and so it's, it shouldn't be STEM, it should be STEAM, um, um, and what Anouk shows us in, I think, a very captivating and engaging and for a low emotional quotient guy in a very useful manner, um, what, what Anouk is doing is, is showing that we can take these now um, very effective but very cost effective, very easy to use technologies and implement them in, in closer to everyday objects in a compelling and new and refreshing manner. What we build is, what we make are the building blocks that allow you to do that stuff, that allow you to be who you are doing your thing and the same for everyone else. That's good business for Intel um, and it's not telling you what you need to do. It's an open architecture that allows you to define in software what things you want to get done? Well, what we have here is a robotic spider dress. Uh, so it's based on the Intel Edison, which I have here, which is um, yeah the new uh, the new uh, microcontroller or the module from uh, from uh, Intel, which is based uh, yeah which is coined for the the wearable industry. So it's a really uh, yeah small uh, yeah small little brain that I put in my design. Um, yeah, what the dress is doing, as you can see here, I'm standing in her personal space, so she's, uh, she's trying to attack me more than once, uh, because basically this dress doesn't like to be yeah, having people in her personal space, like uh, she's a little bit crimpy, a little bit in the, a crimpy dress, and um, um, yeah, that is, that is a little bit what I do. I create dresses with a behavior, I create dresses with an, a mind and with an intellect um, and yeah, with a little bit of a brain, sort of. Well, um, I'm supposed to be a little bit the queen of fashion tech and as you can see I'm not wearing any bracelets any activity trackers because uh, yeah basically I do not believe that an activity tracker on your wrist uh, is, a, is the new future it's not fashionable because it's not specifically made it's not personalized it's not made for me I don't feel special if I buy a bracelet that is just one one of a kind I want something personal because I believe in fashion and I believe that fashion is expression and and communication for example but it is very comfortable it just feels like wearing a very tight top it doesn't feel like you're wearing um, you know, a 3D printed heavy dress. <laughs> so it feels really, really comfortable. I could see it in the future being something actually quite wearable.